This is a buddy picture. Basically, I love the buddy picture. Always have. You know, two guys know each other for a while, hit the road, get to know each other better, get to know life's mysteries. Anyways, uh, this uh, story is about Sean and Ilya. We're both on uh, a little adventure here, this time around, trying to get on a balloon. Now, um, keep in mind that Sean and, and I have never been on a balloon, and I am a little bit, if nothing else, worried about heights. It's not something that I'm terrified of, but it always gives me pause, and I'm not the first to go up a ladder when it involves getting the cat out of a tree. Situation, we're going to uh, Albuquerque and uh, we're going to be attending this balloon festival, which is supposedly the largest balloon festival. We're going to be documenting this whole thing right. uh, with this camera. You're going to be the actual photographer. I'll be the photographer. Or the camera guy. You are the director? Or producer, or, producer. Or, or some guy who's actually involved in making this project happen. <laughs> so we got uh, some media credentials. All right, let me give a second here about these media credentials. Now, I work in the news business, and credentials you live or die if you have them or if you don't. If you don't have them, you're not getting in. So I'll be a little crazy about the credentials throughout the movie. I apologize. Bear with me. Then we're going to set up a flight on a balloon. That you and I have never been on a balloon. It could be terrifying. <laughs> Join us in Albuquerque. We're, we're in Albuquerque and we're looking at the schedule. Right. We're rolling? All right. So here's our uh, first uh, day. Uh, we're going to try to attempt to make up some sort of uh, schedule for our flight. Now it looks like there's bad weather. That's correct, Ilya. <laughs> it it's very bad weather. <laughs> it's, it's like, like dark, six o'clock. It's like black six o'clock. I, I don't know if we're getting all this, but this, that's a very big black cloud. That is a big cloud. And it's like six o'clock in the morning. That's also true. We're uh, it's <laughs> relatively early. <laughs> We, we, got uh, we suspect we're going to go down there. We're going to try to get these credentials. Boom. First time media credential. Noted. And then we'll probably turn around and go back, right back to sleep. <laughs> I think that's a okay. I'm supposed to be picking up some press credentials. Media credentials. I need them. The southeast part of the field on the ABC News. Oh. Can I, uh, how would I get there? Do you know where? It's supposed to be the southeast part of the field. Uh, Who would I ask? Let me ask you. Okay, you don't know? Okay. But I don't know where to go send you. All right, thank you. We haven't gotten anything yet. <laughs> but we've been way forward. We've been moved forward. I'm just going to park and get into the joint and then start asking people about this media tent. That's my objective. Figure if I get in there. Start lying to everybody. <laughs> I'm like a lot of everybody. I am with ABC News. And I am recording their festival. What am I lying about? It's true. What was I lying about? I know Sean made it out to be like, it's some sort of lying to people thing. I never thought of it that way. Really, I was just trying to get on a balloon. The whole thing started from the fact I had a screensaver on my phone and it was when phones weren't all that exciting and clearly somehow subliminally it got into my subconscious that I really wanted to ride a hot air balloon. It was a weird little screensaver, it was on a flip top phone, it completely broke into my subconscious and made me obsessed. It's not lying, it's creative. Reality sculpting. Um, it's, it's what it is, is when I'm making opportunities happen. This is what I'm doing, Sean. That's right. I was making opportunities happen. Is that so wrong? Is that not the American dream? To see things? Try to do something about them? Excuse me. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm supposed to be picking up some sort of press... Credentials. Credentials. I work with ABC News, and I was wondering which part of the field is that in. Down at the bottom. Down in the bottom. bottom yes. so what you'll have to do is go park someplace over here and walk down. Okay. Then you'll have to just go down. Okay, it's uh, it's literally down in this part of the field? Well, 
no, you'll have to go back over here and park. I have uh -huh. to go in the gate over there. There's a gate over there? Yeah, okay. This okay. is the RV parking. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. you. Have a All good right. one. Thank you. <laughs> 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 hey lady, you got a nice hat. I need some press credentials, please. Media tips. Rick, media tips. Media tips. Media tips. Yeah. 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 The long white tip. The long white tip. So got in. Now we got to get our credentials. Oh, if I only had press credentials in my hand right now. Funnel cake. <laughs> They got funnel cake here, Sean. There's funnel cake everywhere, really. Yeah. Get, uh, what? <laughs> Go ahead and get in the shot. Hey, come over to this way a little bit. No, this way. All right, good. <laughs> it's easier to move the camera than move the subject. No, so you do. You do what I tell you. <laughs> Where are you? You're not gonna say anything? You know, it's, it's kind of like the fly on the wall scenario. If you, if <laughs> no, you, if you, if you can't <laughs> like the subjects what to do. If you can't get the person to chat, then you gotta move yourself. <laughs> the other table, turn left. That way. Thank you. Thank God Almighty, I finally got those credentials. We got the credentials. We gotta get a good crack of dog to get a play. We got a learning. That's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Well, right here, I'm realizing that this little adventure that Sean and I are on is going to be a little more difficult than I anticipated. That laugh is hiding a lot of anxiety right now. And if, if we flew, flew by today, which I don't think we will, um, they would have the all weather. gotten up. Yeah. The weather looks a little shady. Yes, it does. Got some breakfast burritos right here. Sean loves a good snack. And these burritos were delicious. They're excellent. A little bit of green chili. So you know that we are in Albuquerque. Look at all that! <laughs> oh, there's balloons out of here, Elliot. There's a lot of balloons. Let's walk through them. <laughs> Let's walk through these balloons. Let's do it.
got the all potential. Of any other event that we've been doing. Are you pretty excited about this event? I, I am excited about it. <laughs> we were told by our media people that uh, balloons weren't taking off. But as you can clearly see, <laughs> the balloons they were missing full. <laughs> I'm gonna let this one fly off the screen. Hmm? I'm gonna let this one fly off the screen. All right. It's called being artistic. It's the last day we can get up in the air. Sean is sleeping. <laughs> Sean is sleeping. He is not a part of this conversation. <laughs> Let's give these balloon people a call. 5 30 in the morning. Fly balloon people. It was so early, and Sean and I had both gone out drinking the night before with some balloon folks trying to get some background in terms of what the whole thing was about. But really, ultimately, what happened is that we just got drunk with a bunch of balloon people. It's so early. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was uh, at your tent yesterday. I was uh, setting up a flight for today. Are you guys flying today or not? Uh, now, is it okay we can put the name on the list? Then we're heading your way. Physically in the tent. Okay, so as of right now, you guys are flying. Okay, we're heading your way. <laughs> Get up! We're going up in the air! Uh, so we're trying again. This is uh, attempt number two. Literally the last day we could probably fly. We're going to go and talk to Christy, put her name on the list. Get us up in the air. Looks like a nice day. We're next up. He's kind of thin. Yeah, I don't think I'm a thin. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, where's your two names? Ready? I'm sorry, I wrote him on the same line. So put me, put me on the more likely one. The thing is, like I said, there's competition. Yeah. Let's see how he keeps it. All right. Looks like we got on. Let's see All how right. that goes. We might be split up. It was a bit unorganized, this event, and we got directed to the wrong part of the field. Only one of us could have gone up. So a decision had to be made. It was a little heartbreaking for one of us. Tragic Sophie's Choice moment between Sean and myself of figuring out who was going to go up in the balloon. What do you think, Sean? It's a big decision, huh? It is. There's no way I can do yeah. it. I think it's a, it's a competition situation. Is that why he's only flying to? That's right. Weight is an issue. I guess I'll go up. And the decision was made. Godspeed. I'm glad he's getting out. So I am a little disappointed. I know. Well, next time you come out, come out for more than one day. We will. I would come out for the whole time. The whole time. So it turns out that I'm the one who's going up. <laughs> Thank you.
like you over here in this corner, if you would, please. So you just stay there in that corner. Is this where you want it? Yeah, that's fine for us. No rush. Five, four. Okay. Whenever you're ready. You don't have any traffic, just be careful this morning, okay? Or a long cheeky tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Let me uh, just hook this up real quick. Thank you. Here we go. Now things are going to get real interesting because what happened shortly after we went up, the next group of people that went up behind us had some issues. It was just traumatic. The calm of Balloon Fiesta turned to chaos this morning. Terrible, terrible sight. Russ Stover keeps playing that scene over and over again in his mind. It just looked like a rag doll falling through the air. The balloonist tumbled out head over heels just twirling to the ground. You can see the top of that tent where the balloon hit, and then that passenger fell about 20 feet, slamming right into this area. Right after the 70-year-old Thomas Hurd was thrown from the basket, the balloon shot back up in the air with pilot Timberly Eklund inside. Then it started to deflate. Oh, Grace for impact! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Is he okay? He's okay. Yeah, Sean strolled over a couple of hundred yards and got into a crowd to watch some more balloons go off. And as he did, he saw this one coming down little too fast. Amazingly, the pilot walked away, but her passenger was rushed to the hospital. I, I was just going, oh, God, help him. Because <laughs> it, was, it, it was just, like I said, traumatic. So let's hear the horror stories. Have you had any bad flights before? Well, everybody's had a few that are interesting. Uh, uh, we don't really call them bad necessarily, <laughs> unless interesting. Uh, is <clears throat> interesting is uh, uh, is more of the uh, the line that we like to give. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, what was the most interesting flight that you had? Well, probably the most interesting is when we take off and it's like this, about five miles an hour, and when we land, it's about thirty miles an hour, and it changed unexpectedly. And that's what happens out here: is the winds are totally unpredictable. Right. And uh, as such, we have to be cautious and um, be pretty much up with uh, how to handle the balloon and looking for places that we can actually get into. Mm. So I always thought that Albuquerque was uh, kind of favored by the balloonists because of the actual weather being so calm. It's not so much the weather being calm. The Sandias over here create what they call drainage. Uh -huh. The famous Albuquerque boxes in the right. morning the winds come out of the north and move you to the south, uh -huh. and higher altitudes, they're out of the south going to the north, so you can actually box around. Oh, I see. So it's and easier it's to pilot as well. It, it, it gives you a lot more steerage, and you mm -hmm. can play around a little bit more that way. I see. We landed in a big tobacco field one time, but we landed on the service road, and we, we went about 12 inches above this guy's probably 100 acre tobacco field and he comes running out there after we've landed and I mean we didn't touch anything and then the service road came up and we just set it down the crew was there they snagged us he came out there and looked at uh, everything he, and, and I'll say Bubba Bubba <laughs> has a four-wheeler with a big shotgun on the back of it and he just knew we had torn up his tobacco field. And uh, he was not he was, happy about it. He was he was not happy. <laughs> oh, look, he's doing the little dip thing. Oh, balloon down. Yeah, you, you don't want to hit it that hard. <laughs> <clears throat> so when you see balloons this low, you're thinking that they're about to land. Is that the situation? Yeah, well, could be. Or they're just dipping down. I was wondering how balloonists know when they're coming for an approach for a landing. That, in retrospect, might have been the dumbest question ever asked 
to a person flying a balloon. How do they know when they're... You well, know? You're, you know, you pick a field where you want to land, uh -huh. and that's where you go. Oh, I see. You just pick a spot that you want to go, and that's where you go. Okay, guys, you're going to swift tanks. If you smell a little bit of propane, that's fine. If you smell a whole lot of propane, then I got a problem. What? Did you say problem? I don't like you saying problem. Smelling propane. Nothing. And back on the same burner again. All right. That's a smooth transition. Sure. I mean, it was like, it was so, I mean, they were really. in the big jet to go fly and then uh, people your co-pilot says uh, gee where's captain this is uh, that balloon event well I mean there are no real throttles I said yeah there are there's up here <laughs> on the burner it's a little different you know I got complete control of the jet <laughs> so it's, a lot of people don't understand this because they've never tried it and it's unfortunate Flown before? I'll tell you, I had gotten in a basket, in a balloon, completely inflated, and a thunderstorm came over and we had to cancel the flight. Oh, good cancellation then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good yeah. reason. So I came close, but this is the first time I've gone up. As you can see, this day so far has turned out to be wonderful. And it is a wonderful I, day. I would have I shot myself if I didn't take advantage of it. Shot yourself? Wow. It's a little extreme, don't you think? Because so, all balloonists... Wind in your I was trying to interject the fact that I thought all balloonists really are truly passionate about flying. But he had nothing to do with it. I'm going to go back up again and see if I can uh, pick up that route. And we have to break the suction going across the uh, Rio Grande there. We're going too slow, and it creates a problem. And he's dropping the problem word again. Hey guys, when we get to the end, we're going to try for somewhere between here and here. And when I start down, here's the briefing. These throw panels in here uh -huh. are for you to hold on to. Stay in the basket. If we move fast, we bounce. Sit in the floor if you have to. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, wait a second, what? I'm holding on to these straps and sitting in a basket and what if we bounce? Make sure your camera equipment and all is stowed away. Okay. Uh, I don't want, uh, you know, Damn guys it. to have a problem with any of that. Okay. So, you notice on the ground, they've got a, a right drift down there now. So we're going to try and hang here. I'll probably start down quicker and then try and stick it into that field right there. So that field right there in the middle? Right here. Uh -huh. We may miss it, we may not. If, if <coughs> not, then we'll. Looks like we're going to try somewhere on, the on other this side. side. Of it. There's a row of power lines right through this one. Yeah, that's the other thing. You guys keep an eye out for power lines. Oh man, now we got to watch out for power lines. Uh, anything that might possibly be sticking up there that looks like it, uh, it might be on ours. And so, as we know from seeing the video previously, that some of these trips end badly and no amount of holding onto straps or sitting in a basket is going to help. Made the landing. Perfect landing.
Albuquerque jury this afternoon awarded a Florida man who was injured in a 2009 balloon fiesta accident nearly $4 million. The jury found that pilot Timberly Eklund acted recklessly and that the fiesta organization was negligent. 72-year-old Thomas Hurd was a passenger in Eklund's balloon when it dropped too low, hit a tent at Fiesta Field and threw him 15 feet to the ground. Heard suffered numerous broken bones and has needed multiple surgeries. The jury awarded him $3.8 million for all that. Eklund will have to pay 70% of that. The Fiesta is on the hook for the other 30%.